you are clearly able to offset to a large degree that expense by reducing funding for this health clinic. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Lutti. Ms. Almeida. Hi, I just wanted to give this. This is who you've driven out of the county. She's gone back to Guatemala. Uh, she has a U.S. citizen brother, 25. She'll be allowed to come back, but it's a question of how much of her high school career is she going to miss because of this resolution? You know, your political aspirations, these are the people that you're stepping on to get there. And for those of you who don't know, uh, my husband was one of those um, that adjusted his status here. He's been pulled over twice, both times in Prince William County, both since October. And for us, it's very suspicious. I mean, he's probably been pulled over twice, uh, you know, in the last decade. And for him to have been pulled over twice in the last, you know, three months sends up red flags. The second time he was pulled over, he was told that the hitch on the truck was obscuring his license plate. The rhetoric that's being spouted by the people that participate in that blog site is frightening. Some of the posts on there, uh, I think our borderline incitement to violence. One poster said the next time the Hispanics have a, a rally, he's gonna go pick a couple off. She would just call and we would commiserate about how bad things were. And she would go on a Tuesday at least twice a month and she would speak and she would be ignored and she'd just go right back the next Tuesday. I think we've got a blogger that is driving county politics He's concerned that his neighbors that play loud salsa music are illegals when in fact they're Puerto Ricans. 20 years, I've never cast a vote for a Democrat. Okay, this is gonna be the year. That is perseverance. Um, and most of the time she would go alone. I just fed them 10 minutes ago. Okay, maybe 20. When I had a fundraiser for Corey, it was the first time he ran for chairman. And at that point, he'd been a really good Occoquan supervisor. I mean, I had high hopes for him. And then nine months later, when the whole immigration issue reared its ugly head, what I said to Corey was he was making a huge mistake to align with Greg, and that I couldn't support him. And that although I agreed that if you're a criminal, you should have your status checked, the idea that you're gonna be pulling people over and just Asking them for identification was very disturbing to me. You know, I was a little wary of Greg, and I have to tell you, some people very close to me were very wary of, well, what are you going to do if people know who you are? And I thought, you know, will I lose supporters? Will I lose friends? How will people react? And I thought, you know, I just, sometimes you just have to do what's right. I have to direct this at you because you were in my home for a fundraiser. I feel like I knew you. And I don't know the person you are anymore, Corey. I don't. The person I know would never have a relationship with somebody who would post vileness like this, suggesting that people are dog food. Or how about this one? Up until now, I could not understand why the educational community was not entirely behind our efforts to repel this invasion of parasites. Now it's clear, for each parasite, the school gets some chump change. They are talking about children. And you have not taken a leadership role to stop this. These are all comments that Greg doesn't censor. He'll censor mine, but he won't censor these. I'm thinking that maybe this raid is having an effect this morning instead of the usual 25 to 30 kids waiting at the K through six bus stop, there were only eight kids. The usual suspects were missing, not a brown face. What I am saying to you here is you people need to stand up and I know who you are. You have got to stand up and stop this. Thank you. As we got closer to the day that the immigration policy would be implemented, 
it was clear that it was really testing the character of many people in Prince William County. It was especially challenging for Police Chief Charlie Dean, who would soon become the executor of a policy about which he had many reservations. And in the end, he got caught in the crossfire of the fighting. <laughs> 